Hello, this is my first time using StreamYard. I'm just recording because it's my first time using StreamYard. So my name is Dale. This channel is Flippin' Fiasco. And today I am sharing my What Sold With You, which is normally a really fun Monday morning coffee talk, but I haven't been able to do them on Monday mornings and I just, I, I don't have time. Monday mornings. So I was filming them Sunday night and sharing them Monday morning, but I didn't even feel like videoing and editing today. So I thought this would be maybe the easiest way. So we're going to give it a try. I have all of my windows open and I'm hoping that the sharing of that goes well. We'll see. Before we get to that though, as is typical for my Monday morning coffee talks, I like to throw other things in there. First, I have two viewer um, well, purchases, gifts um, that I want to share with you. So first is this package from Janet Adams. The channel that she is on is titled Bryn Diaz, B-R-Y-N-N-E, D-I-A-Z. They're almost at 200 subscribers. So if you haven't checked them out, please head on over there. I'll have um, them linked in the description. And uh, they have been sharing unboxings and fun things. So I believe that this was part of a fun box. And she was so sweet when I reached out to purchase. Um, she didn't realize at first that it was me. And I didn't know if she watched my channel or not. But turns out she does. And she was so excited that she gave it to me basically like for free. I just paid for shipping, which was really sweet. So she included this thank you card, which is so sweet. I love this. I'm so excited to send you something. I really enjoy your channel. Can't thank you enough for watching mine. And so this, oh, it was very sweet, very sweet note. So if you know me, you know, I like owls and it will be a theme here. <laughs> this is what I purchased though from Janet and Brynn is this adorable coin purse. Like I said, I think it was in a fun box. And I guess it's from, it was this Yuan Nu, which I was not familiar with, but I just thought that he was so cute Look at it. <laughs> that I had to get him. So I'm super glad I did. And it was very kind of you to, um, to send him to me just with shipping. So thank you so much. I love him. I'm glad I got him. All right. And next, one of my loyal viewers and purchasers on my YouTube channel is Andrea. She also goes by Andy. And I can't wait to open this. She painted me an owl and she shared it with me. The picture blew me away. I can't wait to see it in person. So here's, here's my package that I've only opened, but I haven't taken a look at yet. She gave me something else. What else did you throw in here, Andy? Oh, some Estee Lauder Parfum. Pleasures. Eau de Parfum. Thank you so much. And here, my gosh, you guys, did you catch a peek of it? He got here safely. Just so you know, Andy, and it is so cool. I want to try to reuse the bubble wrap if I can. <laughs> oh, so yes, look on the back, it says art by Andy to Dale, my dear friend. We have become friends through um, email which is so, so much fun. Oh my gosh. He is so cool. It's like 3D. Isn't he awesome? Oh my gosh, Andy. Thank you so much. She signed and dated it. A by Andy, A by A, art by Andy. Oh my God. I love him. So sweet. I wish that I could He'll, he'll, he'll definitely be making appearances. You'll see him. Somehow I'm going to incorporate him in my background. Love it. So, so neat. I am not talented at all. Like, look, can you see all the texture? It's so neat. 
All right. That is super exciting. Thank you so much. Okay. So with all that being said, thanks again, ladies. We're going to move on to the um, what sold portion of this video. So again, this is my first time using StreamYard. Let's see. Yes, I think I did it. So I'm covering the sales from the end of September. So it is September 16th through the 30th. I had 33 sales. Hang on. And 16 were from eBay, 10 from Poshmark, one from Facebook Marketplace, and it was a ship to for through hmm, shipping through Facebook Marketplace. And six were from YouTube viewers. So I do want to give a huge shout out to Anate who purchased twice, two Christines, one with a C and one with a K, Michelle and Raquel. So thank you all so much. I always appreciate when I'm able to make sales through my channel and avoid the fees of um, the other platforms. Hopefully that all came through correctly. It did. Wonderful. All right. So moving on, uh, more info about those sales. My gross sales were $2,722.59 with a very high average much higher than typical for me, but you'll understand why. Just stay tuned. $82.50. My net sales, $968.48. In average, much lower of $29.35. And even that is really skewed by my husband jumping in and making three sales that were huge. His sales, his three sales, $521.97 compared to my 30 sales, $446.51. So obviously you want to know what he sold, not what I sold, but um, it was a joint effort. He had the items. I listed and sold them. <laughs> All right. So let's take a look at the sales. So I got to stop sharing that screen. This is so exciting. Okay. And I'm going to share a different screen. We're going to share. Yeah. I think this window, you don't want to see all that. You don't want to see that either. All right. Let me make sure this is going right. Yes. Okay. So the first thing that sold on eBay was this Build-A-Bear costume for $10.99. And I have to tell you, if you're not part of our Facebook group, Death Pile Destruction, you definitely want to go over to Facebook and look for that group because I have been listing more, which meant that I had way more sales than I normally do. As a part-time reseller, I usually say I'm happy if I average one sale a day, but having 30 sales in the last half of the month, I averaged two, two sales per day. And a lot of that is thanks to listing more. I've had these Build-A-Bear clothes sitting since the summer since I picked up the infamous pink puppy um, and finally got them listed. So again, he sold for $11 plus shipping. Happy with that. I paid a dollar for him for this, for each outfit at a yard sale. Next is his 31 bleacher blanket, which sold for $15 plus shipping. And this was part of the big buyout that um, I arranged locally with, um, with a contact of a contact. So I do have a video about that. I'll link that here. Next, these have been listed for a long time. Happy to see them go. It was a lot of vintage National Geographic maps from the 60s, even a couple from the 50s, sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Oh, and I'm already in the profit on, on my maps. So that's really all profit. Next is a rare um, auction. I don't usually do auctions. I usually do buy it now, but I wasn't sure what these Weeble Wobbles might go for. They were also part of the local buyout that I did. And there was there were seven figures and then there was an airplane, a car, a helicopter, and a whole playground set. So you can see all the items in the first image. Um, but then I took some more close-up pictures of the items. And they sold, as you can see, $48.79 plus shipping. So I started that 
um, auction at $24 and you can see it had 10 bids. So I was very happy that I did put that to auction because I really didn't know how to price it, but I was happy if it sold for 24, I would have been happy. So that's always our advice is that if you have something that you think might go a little higher, but you're not sure, that's a good candidate for an auction, but price it at the lowest you would be willing to accept. So don't price it at a dollar. That's a little risky. <laughs> so I priced this at 24. I would have been happy if it sold for 24, but even happier that it sold for 48.79. Next is another Build-A-Bear outfit that I purchased for a dollar. This Philadelphia Flyers outfit sold for $20.99 plus shipping. Next, I've finally gotten around to listing a bunch of the cocktail rings that I had done a video on a long time ago. This bird ring sold for $12.99 plus shipping. All right, so here is one of my husband's sales. He had been stalking the Walmart website for PlayStation 5s, and he managed to snag two of them. And he said, if I sell one, then I basically can keep one for myself for free, right? And I said, well, like after fees, nah, not quite. So the first one sold for $775 plus shipping. And let me see, we had paid $422.94 for each PlayStation. The fees were $111.74. Um, so our profit after shipping was $227.47. So as I said, it wouldn't have been 100% free um, if we had kept one. The next item that sold is a Mario Party DS game for $14.99. I did have free shipping on that. So my, um, and I actually purchased this through a friend and probably paid more than I should. So really no profit on that, but that's okay. Then the second PlayStation sold for $725. I accepted a best offer plus shipping and our profit on that one after every all the fees and shipping was $194.45. So yes, he had some super high profit items, but we also paid up for them. This is another item that is my husband's. So this is the third of his three sales. He um, participated in a golf tournament that was very bougie. And when you walked in, they said, you can either have a brand new golf outfit or a brand new pair of golf shoes. So he chose the golf shoes, but then decided that he didn't really like them enough and he wanted to sell them. So we sold them on eBay for $100. It was an offer that I accepted. I think I listed them at 125 maybe. So they sold for $100 plus shipping. And because we had zero cost of goods on those, again, lots of profit for him. <laughs> Next, we go to my little sales again. This Alex and Ani Harry Potter um, crest bracelet sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Then I had a um, multiple purchase from one buyer, so I was able to combine shipping. They bought this blue and pink cabochon necklace for $7 and this owl necklace for $8. He was very cute, nice and colorful. Another cocktail ring sold for $12.99 plus shipping. It's very blingy. Definitely a statement ring. And I sold a Juicy Couture charm, this cute little gingerbread guy, for $30. Um, I accepted a best offer plus shipping. And I do have to give a shout out, as I always do, to Kristen D here because I had shown these in an unboxing. And I think I said, oh, you know, I'll sell these for like five deals. She reached out to me and she was like, Dale, those Juicy Couture charms sell for good money. You might want to look them up. <laughs> and she was right. So thank you, Kristen. And last on eBay, I sold two pairs of pierced earrings. They were both these like silver dangle um, statement earrings. So there's the one pair. And... Here's the second pair. So you can see I took all kinds of pictures of them and they sold for $6 plus shipping. And a lot of times I sell them to viewers for like $2, $3. So I'm not mad about selling them for $6. All right. 
hopefully this has all gone well. I can't see <laughs> myself or exactly what's going on. I'm on the other screen. Okay, so we're going to stop sharing that screen. And we're going to share a different one. Um, no, it's not the window. It's not the entire screen. Where is it? All right, hang on. Bear with me. I'm going to close this one and this one. So now if I say that I want to share my screen, will it, why can't I find these, this one? Hmm. I don't want to share that screen. All right, hang on guys. Why isn't, why, why doesn't this one come up? Hang on. This is why I didn't want to go live. Yikes. Okay. We're going to try it again. Window. All right. Can you see that? Yes, you can. All right. So my one Facebook marketplace was this Our Generation kitchen set. It was for American Girl dolls. Sold for $20 plus shipping. Um, and this was part of my local buyout. So I was happy that that sold. All right, over on Poshmark, I sold a pair of men's Old Navy jeans for a whopping $10. These had been sitting forever. So I was happy to just move that inventory and move on. So, but I do think my cost was only uh, $3 from a thread up or no, maybe a Goodwill denim box. So even if I offered a $3 shipping discount, I still made some profit there. Another small sale, this Disney Mickey Boys Valentine romper sold for $9. Mm, I might have given a shipping discount again. I don't know. But I bought this for 90% um, off at Target. So I believe my cost was $1. This Weather Tamer Parka sold for $22. And it cost me $1 at the either the Goodwill outlets or the thread up outlet back when it was open in March of 2020. We went there right before it shut down. I can link that video and yep. So that cost me a dollar. Next is a Talbot scarf that I purchased from cat, the nurse flipper. So this was a $2 and 50 cent cost. It sold for $18. I'm happy with that profit, even happier with this profit. This is a petite duffel by Cravivier in brown with black. And it is from a thread up designer rescue box. It sold for $99. And I think that I might have even offered, yes, free shipping on that. So each item in the DIY designer box cost me $17.14. So after the Poshmark fee, then my net profit is $54.61 on that bag. Next, I sold a J Crew bracelet that had been listed forever for $10. I sold, this had been listed even longer. This might've been one of the first items I listed last February. Um, from the limited, it's a 24 inch gold necklace and sold for $12. Here's another great sale from a DIY designer box. I had no idea that Acne Studios, here's what that label looks like, um, sold for so much. But this was a mohair wool nylon sweater. And you can see it sold for $120. And I'm thinking that I sent an offer with free shipping again. Yes, I did. So again, after fees and my cost of goods, I'm left with a $71.41 profit. Another cocktail ring sold for $12. This one was a bald eagle. Look how intimidating he is. And last was this patchwork skirt by Lucy Pareda. Not familiar with that brand, but it was a size 12. Sold for $14. And that was in um, a bag of clothing from my mother. So my cost was zero. So happy with that profit. All right. 
Let me get back over here. Looks like it shared all of that good. Ah! All right, so maybe eventually I'll start doing these as lives. And I might need to come up with a new name because they're probably going to be Sunday lives. That's so much faster, though, for me than um, filming a video and then getting all of the screenshots to insert in the video. So I appreciate you um, letting me try this new method. And please leave a comment. Let me know if um, if you were okay with this way of sharing things. Hopefully the video turned out good and we'll ro roll with it. <laughs> so thank you so much for being here. I will catch you next time. We're going to end it now. <laughs>